Hello everyone. In this highly shorts, I am going to tell you about Wilson's disease, which is an autosomal recessive disorder because of the chromosome number 13Q involvement. 13Q is encoding for ATP7B gene, which encodes for ceruloplasmin protein. Ceruloplasmin combines with copper and helps in copper excretion through the biliary tract. Right. So what is happening because of the 13Q involvement, ATP7B gene will be having mutation and there will be decrease in ceruloplasmin in the blood. So because of decrease ceruloplasmin, decrease copper combination with ceruloplasmin. Right. And because of this decreased copper combination with ceruloplasmin, decreased copper biliary excretion. So as a result of all these things, copper accumulation will be more in our tissue, mostly liver tissue and RBC will be damaged showing you hemolytic anemia. So liver disorders with hemolytic anemia, whenever you see in a patient, you must think about the Wilson's disease as a first diagnosis, right? Symptom wise, if you look at them, they will start symptoms by six to 20 years of the age group. Three important organs, liver, brain and eyes, which will be mostly damaged. Liver will be showing you all spectrum of, you know, liver involvement or all, all spectrum of liver disorder, acute, chronic, fulminant hepatitis, all spectrum will be seen acute, chronic, fulminant. They will show macro nodular cirrhosis and malory dank bodies in biopsies. Brain is again having characteristic basal ganglia damage. What will happen? Copper is going to destroy the pitamen and that is why atrophy and cavity will be present in pitamen. Because of this, this disorder is also known as hepatolenticular degeneration. And this damage of the basal ganglia is the future precursor of the Parkinson's disease, right? So that is why whenever we are seeing Parkinson's disease, we will try to rule out the Wilson disease also because of these things, right? In eyes, you are going to see sunflower cataract and Kesar Fleischer ring. Kesar Fleischer ring will be seen in the cornea into the decimate membrane and this will be showing you yellow brown in color, right? When we come to the diagnosis, most specific diagnostic finding will be the increased urinary copper excretion. Remember, most specific copper excretion will be increased in the urine. Gold standard is the liver biopsy where copper will be more than 200 microgram per gram of the liver tissue. And on a special staining, rhodamine stain will be used where copper will be showing you red brown color. Serum ceruloplasmin will be decreased and remember, serum copper level is never used for diagnosis of the Wilson's disease, right? So that is very important point. And this one is the red, you know, red, you can see this brown ring is around the eye. So this is the Kesher Fleischer ring as we are seeing with the naked thing. But remember, it is best seen by slit lamp examination. And this one is the rhodamine stain for the copper where you can see red brown pigment deposition is present in the Wilson's disease, right? So this is how we are going to approach for the Wilson's disease. Enjoy learning. Best wishes for your exams.